everyone, it's Christina. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my YouTube equipment, what I use to film my videos, because I've actually been doing YouTube now for five years. Summer 2013 is when I first started thinking about my YouTube channel and creating one, and I'm so glad that I did because I got to meet so many of you. Yeah, that's really when I took the big leap of faith and I bought my first MacBook Pro. I actually got it for a really good discount. I'll share with you guys how in this video. These are really like budget-friendly tips, nothing too cheap, nothing really expensive. I think it's a good happy medium. I'm just gonna share with you guys how I've gotten all the stuff, all my YouTube equipment in the five years that I've been doing YouTube. If you guys wanna see what I use to film my videos, then keep on watching. So my very first big purchase was my MacBook Pro. That's when I knew like, oh my God, I'm really doing this. I couldn't believe it. Like if I'm putting this much into a computer, girl, you better do something with it. I actually bought my MacBook Pro refurbished I saved a few hundred dollars by doing this I think it was anywhere between two four hundred dollars I don't exactly remember but I know I saved a couple hundred by getting it refurbished and it still works to this day it's still the very first computer that I bought I haven't had any problems with it besides like I did add RAM to it but that's just so that way it can process my videos faster and it can work faster um, when it comes to editing um, when I first started my channel I used iMovie it worked really good and then I eventually I upgraded to Final Cut Pro and I was able to get Final Cut Pro just because one of my friends used to work at Apple and I guess they get so many copies of a program so he was nice enough to share it with me eventually I do want to upgrade to Adobe that is probably my next big purchase because I feel as though I have everything else the camera that I'm filming with right now is actually the camera I wish I would have had when I started out because it's actually a creator kit and it's a very good price I got mine on Best Buy this is the Canon T6i creator kit so it came with the T6i the lens the SD card and it also came with a mic a road mic that just plugs right in I took it off so that way I can show you guys mine is actually somewhat broken I mean I hot glued it and I finesse it every time that I film it's just that I use it and it was in my bag and my son happened to like lean on it step on it something like that and it did kind of snap but it still works when I first bought my Canon T6i it was, I want to say 800 and something, and I just seen it on Best Buy's website because I wanted to make sure they still had the creator kit. It's actually only $649, and I think that's a really good deal for this type of camera. It's a good starter camera. Also, um, tripods. So I have a total of three tripods now. The first one that I bought, I got at Target. The second one that I got... Um, Bernard bought for me for Christmas. This is actually a really good quality one. Well, it's a decent quality. It's a Sunpack 5858D tripod. It is, I want to say, five and a half feet. My first one was not tall enough. I didn't know anything about height. So if you are a tall person and you're going to be standing, just keep that into consideration when you are buying a tripod. The tripod that I'm using right now is more convenient, it's more for travel, it's one of those bendable ones, but the actual like Gorilla one or whatever it's called is like 50 something dollars. This one I got on Amazon for like $20. I like how I can sit it on my desk and you can see me, eye level, it's perfect. I like how I can put it on my stroller and wrap it around the handle. I can use it in the grocery store, wrap it around the shopping cart if I'm in there. I can hold it while I'm doing something if I'm filming in a different location. It's good for like those awkward positions and uh, or just like if you, I don't know, I've had to film in some weird spots. So this tripod has made it really useful and also it comes with this little like cell phone thing because sometimes I do film on my cell phone. So it does make it easy. As far as lighting, my very first tripod that I ever bought, I actually just have it sitting in my room and it's attached to my Diva Light. So my Diva Light, I didn't buy until about two years after I started my YouTube channel because I used to do a lot of beauty videos. If you are starting a beauty channel, then I would definitely recommend getting a ring light. It just makes a huge difference. Or if you're just like planning on doing videos talking straight to the camera and you don't have natural lighting then definitely recommend a diva light because it just puts all the focus on your face now 
right now I actually prefer natural lighting I have found a way to finally finesse natural lighting I used to film mostly in my bedroom but my bedroom is in the back of my house it doesn't get good lighting and now that I have this huge headboard in front of my window you can't see into my room there's no lighting at all so I had to get decent lighting and I also actually have other lighting that I use on top of that when I film in my bedroom because it is pretty dark as far as like where I got my Diva Light, most of the stuff I honestly got on Amazon or Bernard has bought on Amazon for me. So I'm going to put everything into my Amazon page so that way you guys can see it's going to be easy. It's all in one spot. My Diva Light I want to say was about $150 but it was definitely well worth it. I definitely still use it. Actually when I'm freelancing I bring my Diva Light places so that way I have lighting for when I'm doing clients makeup. The other lighting I use is something that I had right when I started my channel. Um, this was like one of the first things that I bought. I wanna say I bought my camera and this at the same time. Um, it's a lighting kit. It came with three different stands and it came with the light bulbs. I like these stands but you because you can actually adjust them to different heights. I can actually put my Diva light on one of these tripods. Like I can take this light off. Um, they're very flexible you could just make it work with your situation it also comes with the umbrella so that way you can diffuse the lighting um, but yeah it came with three I want to say two tall ones which you can make shorter and then it came with one really short one but I've had those for about five years and the light bulbs I mean I don't use them all the time but the light bulbs are still going strong also something that I found very useful especially for thumbnails thumbnails are very very important when it comes to creating YouTube videos and that is this little remote right here I used to use this a lot with my Sony a5100 that was my second camera that I used when I started my YouTube channel that's the camera right before this one the only reason like that camera it took beautiful pictures it had it like filters already on it I loved that camera but it got really frustrating because the battery would die like it would only take 29 minutes of filming and when you're doing beauty videos it'd be really frustrating or even if you're just talking to the camera for a long time it'd be really frustrating because you would have to stop and it would overheat so it's not even like you could like turn it back on like with this one that I found really frustrating but the battery has recently died in this it takes like one of those like flat batteries the ones that you put in like it's like a watch battery type of thing I'm pretty sure it works with my Canon I just lost it for a long time I recently found it it's probably why it's dead but I'm pretty sure I have used it with my Canon but I love having that for my thumbnails and when it comes to editing I have found this snowball mic very useful because the mic that's on my MacBook Pro, sometimes what happens is it echoes or it picks up weird sounds or it sounds like I'm really far away. So I like having this. I just talk right into it. It plugs in through USB. That's how it powers on. Yeah, this just sits right on my desk. I love having this. This I got from Bernard for Christmas. Also, when it comes to editing, I have found having external hard drives very, very useful. I have a lot of these. I have three external hard drives this small, and then I have a WD MyBook also. These are all from Amazon, and they are all for Macs. Um, after filming 250 videos, obviously the footage cannot stay on my computer. Nowhere near that amount can actually be stored on my computer on my computer and it starts to slow down everything when you have a lot of footage on your computer so as soon as I am done recording my videos I put it on here just so that way I have the original files and then once I have the final cut video I will put it on here as well so the raw footage and the final video will all be on here it's just good to have because I have actually had a company that has wanted to use my video for commercial use so having the original file on here just makes it easier to have the reason why I have so many is just because I have so many videos and also I remember my very first one my very first external hard drive I used to edit my videos a lot on the couch like sitting down because I didn't have a desk I didn't get a desk until recently I guess one time I got up and my computer actually fell off my couch and so did my external hard drive it ended up coming out while it was like importing footage and the whole thing totally messed up like I have so many of my kids pictures on there that ended up getting lost and I don't think it's recoverable I don't know but it just doesn't work anymore I'm glad I finally have a desk that I can work at and then I have a bigger one that sits on my desk uh, 
this oops, this one actually does plug in. You can see all of Nathan's little crummy handprints. But that one is bigger storage. I think that's one terabyte. I think something like that. But Bernard also got me that for Christmas. Anytime it comes to the holidays, I ask for YouTube equipment or makeup. That is all that I've been asking for for Christmas when people want to get me stuff, like just get me stuff for YouTube. That's how I got most of my YouTube equipment. I'm very, very thankful for it. I'm thankful that Bernard and all my family support me and have been able to give me what I have because it has helped my YouTube channel grow. Now, as far as extras, so now that I've been doing YouTube for about five years, now I have been able to get a few extra things. So for example, I do recommend having an extra battery pack. This is something that I finally got this year because your battery does die pretty quickly, especially when you're filming lengthy videos, especially makeup videos, or if you're batch filming and you wanna film a lot of videos at once, so whenever I am filming one video, usually the other battery pack will be in the charger. Um, I actually want to get a third one just because these things do die pretty quickly. Also, something that I got this year is another lens for my camera. This one I don't really like to film with, but it has took my Instagram pictures to the next level. The only reason why I don't like to film with this is because this is more like, I really need my camera far away um, because this does not zoom. And this is supposed to like blur out the background a little bit. So if I am filming with this, I've only filmed one video with it. And when I was editing, it drove me nuts. You can hear it trying to focus the whole entire time. I don't really like filming with that, but I'm starting to get more into trying different lenses. Also, I do recommend getting extra SD cards. Um, that is what your videos save on when they're in the camera and that's how you import them into your computer. I currently have 128 gig. It has made such a big difference in my time management because I don't have to sit here and try to delete videos when I'm filming. I don't have to stop because what that's what used to end up happening. I would have to stop my videos because I wouldn't have enough memory. I would have to choose what I wanted to delete because I didn't always have all these um, external hard drives. Over the years, if you've been following me, you can see the progression of my videos and I'm still trying to get better. It's all about still creating. Just, if you are thinking about doing a YouTube channel, just do it. Like, that is the only way that you're gonna figure it out is by doing. I have figured out different processes. I mean, by watching videos like these, I like watching these types of videos because I wanna see what works for other people. I wanna see if that is gonna make it easier for me because at this point, I'm all about saving time. I have three kids. I ain't got time to be sitting here fussing with equipment. I do it a lot. I get really frustrated. You'll see me on Twitter complaining about it. Me and technology have a love-hate relationship. If you guys have any questions about starting a YouTube channel, I'd be more than happy to answer them. If you guys don't feel comfortable leaving a comment, email me. My email and all my information is always in the description box. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. I'd love to have you join here. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.